Hey everybody, today I just want to do a quick tip on reducing a DWG size with using 3D Max. Specifically, this is for so it can be brought into Revit and handled a little bit easier. So the first thing I want to do is come over here to the drop down, just go over to import, import again, press import. Uh, set this to all formats. Uh, you can see here. I have a drawing that I want to import in there. It's about three megabytes. The idea for us is to reduce this, so I'm going to grab that. I'm going to open it. I'm just going to leave this. You can uh, match this if you want. Um, so here's this generic couch. I'm going to change this to hidden lines so that we can really get to see the lines and the uh, points. So the first thing I'm going to do is come over here to the modifier list drop that down find pro optimizer and do make sure that you have the your modeled element selected so after you've done that select pro optimizer calculate what's going to do is just run through there and count all the points and faces um, and we can change it here we can just change it by number so I can set it to 2000 you can see it's about 59 0.5 percent of the vertexes. Um, you can play around with this quite a bit and see where at the geometry starts to flex to the point where you can't really see what it is. Um, you can usually reduce geometry pretty drastically without making it look too bad. See, even at 20 percent, it looks pretty decent. Um, and I can sit here, maybe try to reduce it to 15. Even then, I'm content with it uh, 10 you can see it's starting to lose a bit of its geometry its smoothness so I can bring it down another five and now it's just a bunch of boxes almost but you can play with this try to get it to a point where you're comfortable with it where it still gives you what it's supposed to but also doesn't have all that under the detail especially in a uh, software like Revit it doesn't necessarily deal with it too well so it's best to try to get as low as possible but we still want to hold you know as much detail to where we can understand what it looks like so after you've picked a good percentage to have it at you can come over here to the drop down come over here to export export again and I just want to do this same name underscore one. I just want to save it. I'm going to leave those settings. I'm not too concerned about those. Um, and now I'm going to open my desktop. And you can see here's my original at three megabytes. And then here's um, the new one at 91 kilobytes. So it does reduce it pretty dramatically. Sometimes you don't get uh, this much. So just play with it. Um, also, not always reducing the size has a great impact on the Revit model, but it always helps, especially, you know, reducing um, sync times and, and load times and save times. So, give it a try. And thanks for watching.